All right, the fundamental principle of rational expressions. Uh, if we remove factors of one, what this talk is talking about is, see how we have r divided by r right there? So what's anything divided by itself? It's one, which is where that one comes from. Um, and this has to do a lot with factory, okay? Because what we end up with is some binomials, some polynomials, such as, I don't know, x minus 1 times x plus 2, right? If we divide this by x plus 2, well, anything divided by itself is 1, right? So x plus 2 divided by x plus 2, this would be a 1 right there, and we'd just be left with that x minus 1. This is very helpful when we're solving equations. But that's essentially what this principle is saying. All right, so simplify by removing factors of 1. So I'm going to show this kind of with, for what many of you are going to think is too many steps. So please be patient as we look at this. So the first thing I'm going to do is find all of the factors of 24. Uh, I'm going to use the prime factorization of this. All right, and then we'll cancel out anything that is common in the numerator and denominator because anything divided by itself is one. So we may rearrange these. I'm not gonna do the same thing with the A's because there's too many of those, but I'll show you what I mean by that, okay? So 24, I'm gonna split up into two and 12. So since I, I specifically am looking for the prime factorization on this, I'm, once I get a prime number, I'm gonna circle it, okay? So 12 would be 2 and 6, and 6 would be 2 and 3. So this is my prime factorization of 24, meaning that I could rewrite that 24 as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3. So for 28, again, just the prime factorization, I got 2 and 14. 2 is prime, so I got 2 and, not 17, but... 7. So 28 would be 2 times 2 times 7. And then I can split these up like this. Now the a's, that's a whole different story. In the numerator, I have a to the power of 8. a to the power of 15, if I split this up, specifically with a to the power of 8, I would have to multiply that by just looking back at some exponent rules. a to the power of 7. You guys remember that? Because uh, if I have a to the power of 8 times a to the power of 7, if I expanded this, we would find that we would just add the two exponents. So in my denominator, I've got a to the power of 8 times a to the power of 7. Now this said simplify by removing factors of 1. So anything divided by itself is 1. So I got these twos these twos and these two a to the power of eight. Now if I wanted to rewrite that I would have one times one times one. Those are the three that canceled out and then I still have two times three in my numerator and in the denominator I have seven times a to the power of seven. Well anything multiplied by one is itself so I don't really need those there. And I can do the multiplication here in the numerator. 2 times 3 is 6. And then this would just be divided by 7 times a to the power of 7. And that looks like it simplified all the way to me. So we could have simplified this using, I guess, what you'd call a scale factor. 24 and 8 are both divisible by 4. Some of you may not have seen that right away, and you said it's divisible by 2. Well, if you divided both these by 2, you'd still get even numbers, which you could then divide by 2 again. But if I divide these by 4, so the scale factor is kind of 1 fourth for the numerator and denominator, then 24 divided by 4 is 6, and 28 divided by 4 is 7, giving us the 6 sevenths right there. Uh, the letters, or the variables, unknowns, whatever you want to call them, um, that's something that you're going to have to look at and use the exponent rules for those. I thought you could just 